In this full course, you'll learn how to make a Zoom clone web app. It won't look exactly like this. I'll download this demo code from Vox Implant. They're sponsoring this video, and this demo code will get us up and running a lot quicker. In fact, you'll be surprised by how fast you can create an app if you just use someone else's code. I specifically want step six, so I'll open the step six folder in VS Code. So here's the sample code for HTML layout, and you can see at the end, we're importing the Vox Implant JavaScript file. We're gonna need that. We also got helper.js and index.js. These JavaScript files, especially index.js, has all the code we need to set up our video conferencing application. But there are some things we need to set up on the Vox Implant website. So let's create an account and sign in. And now let's create a new application. And then just title it something, and then create. I'll go into this, and we're going to have to set up some JavaScript scenarios so our code can interact with the website correctly. So let's make a conference scenario. I'll click on scenario, create scenario, and it's gonna call conference. Okay, I'm gonna paste in some code here. Check the description for a link to this code. And here's how we create a video conference. So I'll just save this. And then I'm gonna have to create a new rule. So I'll go to the routing and create a rule. This will be called conference and it is a video conference. And then I'll choose my scenario, conference. Okay, I'll create the rule. Now I'll create a user that can log in. User one, make sure you put a very secure password. Mine's password, user one, and then create. So let's test this. First, we need a web server. So let's just get web server for Chrome. Let me get that added. Okay, I'll go into web server for Chrome, choose the folder, and then make sure I choose step six. And the web server has started, so I'm just gonna go to this URL. So now I just have to log in. Let me copy my app name to the clipboard, and then I'll just type in user1 app, and then the app name. And the password is just the password I created, which is password. Connect and log in. And then I have to choose my conference name. I'm just gonna do one, two, three. We don't see my own video. We only show the other people's videos. Let's actually log in two more times. I'll log in one more time on this computer with another webcam, and then I'll log in on another computer. Now we have three users logged in. This is pretty cool. And developing this was super quick. You can now add video conference developer to your resume. Thanks for watching.